Right guys and girls, today I'm hitting the brand new Paradigm Callaway Irons Paradigm. So this is the new range from Callaway Paradigm. I think we're kind of epics going and this is coming in place because Callaway always have like a lot of models out at once, don't they? But let's see what the new Paradigm Irons are all about. Should be a fun review. So Paradigm, basically Callaway are kind of redefining their understanding of how to build clubs is almost the idea behind Paradigm. I had to look up what Paradigm meant, to be honest. And when I look down at this club, what I see, which is interesting and positive, but funny, I think, when it comes to the name. When I look down at this club, I see a Callaway iron. So I mean here, shapings, looks, all shout Callaway. If you were to give me this club, blank, I would say, oh yeah, that looks like a Callaway. Yet, I think, and we'll get into the tech, their ways of designing the clubs is the paradigm, the way they've actually decided to construct, almost like peeling it back to the start and starting again, starting a new concept, challenging their reality. I mean, it's a proper question for the comments. If this club, Paradigm, was made by, let's say, like Hippo Golf or Tor Edge, <laughs> Does it, uh, you see what I mean about the name? What do you think? I think it's fun. It's a fun, definitely um, marketing jazzed up name. It's just interesting that it looks so Callaway, and I think that's a really good thing, personally, because I love the look of all their X range irons going, part, going back. Apex even it has essence of, but to me, it looks like an old X. 16, 18, 20, whatever number it is, which is a good thing. Now I've got a full set of Paradigm, so we will see what they're like on our simulated course, because unfortunately Mud Island is in full Mud Island flow, so we're gonna have to do it indoors, but we'll see how they all come out. We'll also look at the numbers. I've got a seven iron to give you an idea of my relative seven iron um, numbers. But I do think initial feelings of the looks of all of the clubs down into a nine iron here, like they're really good. What you're getting as well with these, which I love, is I do think Callaway do game improvement, so friendly, in a really quite nice looking package. Like it's never too long, nice rounded shapes, you've got plenty of top line, but it doesn't look chunky as in compared to real chunky clubs. You know, I think it looks really gameable the way they shave it off for anyone. So you do get not a paradigm in the looks. I think you get what you want from a Callaway iron, which is packed tech and kind of friendliness. And this is one of two models. I've got the paradigm. There's a paradigm X as well, which we'll talk about in the tech. Um, I just think you get a great combination of really good looking irons that do pack a lot of helping punch. And it sounds that way, like I absolutely ripped that. And I can see some of the numbers coming out already. They're like, Seven irons, I'm gonna be getting 200 yards, seven irons on the fly with this, possibly. Like they sound, they don't sound soft, they sound strong, firm, semi-clicky. Like really strong. But I mean, I've always thought that if I was to game Callaway irons, for me personally, this is their sweet spot in the iron market. They make good irons in other places, down you know, in the bladed options and that. I mean, but I just think if I was gonna go Callaway, I would want this. That great combination of decent looks with loads of help and friendliness with strong loft power. You know, certain brands, I always think, what do you think? Post in the comments, let me know. You know, tailor-made, you think drivers, don't you? And more irons that come of late, but drivers. Callaway, you think drivers. If you think irons, I personally think much more friendly. If I'm thinking ping, they make great blades, but I'm thinking, friendly. If I think Mizuno, I'm thinking, oh, you know, it's the blade I really want. And I think the paradigm, which to me is kind of a, like, yeah, X range going back for any of us stuck in the past, <laughs> um, is just absolutely their sweet spot. Right, let's have a quick look at the tech then as I just get my numbers up a little higher to present some data for you. What are they actually saying? What have they changed with this club? So the new paradigm in performance is what uh, Callaway are saying, is they're like strap line. Distance irons are obviously long, but uh, discerning players also want exceptional high levels of feel is what they are saying. So you've got the paradigm iron, which I've got, and the paradigm X. Both models 
got AI face design, forged 455 face. Um, so industry leading AI face technology, trying to keep the ball speeds up, optimize them across the face. Fast ball speeds from the forged 455 cut face, hollow body with speed frame construction. So again, they're really jazzing up the construction of the face and the frame to try and keep ball speeds up. Now, exceptional feel from a forged face and patented Eurofame microfears deliver the ultra soft feel and premium sound. I'm not getting that through. Paradigm iron only, the one I'm using. You've got dual chunk tungsten weighting. And then at the X, up to 79% external tungsten weights placed, so more tungsten weights. Refined forging shape in the X as well, so a thicker top line. In your comments down below, let me know in the reviews, how much do you like to know about what TaylorMade or Callaway or Ping or Strixon are saying? Like what, do you like the tech? Because um, if I can deliver it differently for you, I will, because I always find it so dry. Basically, we could kind of agree every club's going to try and keep ball speeds up across the face because they can't get them any higher because they're, they're maxed out, aren't they? Now, the feel is interesting, isn't it, what they're saying? Like, I think it feels great, like really good, but it feels Callaway, it feels strong. It, that forged face, ugh. I mean, I imagine this club, if you don't do all the things they're saying in the tech, microfears and the forged face, trying to work on feel, this kind of club will have a problem of sounding like far too tingy, I would guess. So I imagine in their realms of feel, for what they know they've got going on in it, it hits the, it's the mark. I mean, I, you, no one's gonna hit this and think it feels anything like an actual forged club. I don't know, unless the Callaway shrills tell you that. I don't know, but I, I just don't think you would. I wouldn't want it to as well, it wouldn't make sense. I want this one to do that, which is like bomb and crack and smash and go. Um, like it doesn't feel bad, I think it feels good, but it, I, I wouldn't be, it's not shifting, it's not a paradigm you feel, it's exactly what I'd expect this one to sound like. Right, one more, and then we'll look at the numbers. Let's see what we're getting out of this seven iron. I can see it's definitely on the strong side, like it's in the bracket of club's eye kind of game, to be fair, and it does look brilliant. Oh, I didn't turn that one as well, but I struck it good. Let's have a look at the numbers, let's see what's coming out. How low is the spin getting? How high are the ball speeds getting? So I'm hitting a seven iron here, ball speed one, two, two launching at 17 and a half, spinning at near 5,000. So outside that's gonna be six, six and a half, probably averaging around six, two. But remember it's got seven written on the bottom, but the loft's gonna be that more of what we know as six. So I think the, the days in this iron of the spin being on the number of the bottom are just, we know they've kind of moved on because they're trying to get as much as they can out of the ball flight laws basically but they'll say paradigm and all those things at the same time. An average of 184 carry with my 7 iron. I definitely feel I could really push this on to 190. I think outside this is like a 177 to 185 tops carry because obviously this is my lowest spin inversion in, in the inside testing. But I think the numbers are good. I think they're exactly where everyone is in this bracket of club. Um, I think the sound is nice. I don't think it's as soft as their advertising would make you believe, but it doesn't need to be, and I don't think that's a bad thing. I think the looks are perfect. Like, they're absolutely Callaway perfect, and I wouldn't want them to change that stamp. It's that kind of, as I've said, it's a great combination of game improvement with decent looking clubs. You know, they don't look like horrible, chunky monkey things. Right, sorry to interrupt before we throw you straight back to the video. Just a quick note, if you're liking the video, don't be afraid to hit the like button and also subscribe if you don't want to miss the next great video. Other thing as well, I do a podcast with Lou Stagner, PJ Tour player, Greg Chalmers. If you're into podcasts, link in the description. Check it out, let me know what you think. Sorry, back to the video. Right, let's play the first three holes here at St. Andrews with all the Paradigm irons. I've got the four iron here. So only using the four iron, uh, the iron, sorry, the set of irons to play the three holes. We've got auto put on, so it'll, it'll just auto put subject to how close I hit it to the hole or off the green or not. Hitting the green is essential. Four iron looks great. Like this is exactly the size I'd want it. You don't see the club out the back. We're now looking at, you know, a good combination. Like they're almost a perfect combination of looks with functionality when it comes to the longer iron. Oh, I think that's so bad. <laughs> this hole, it doesn't matter. Yeah, just the 190 in the air. That was almost a miss, and I'm afraid it doesn't matter if they write Paradigm on it. That still don't go anywhere. 
Right, AI next. We are 167 out. AI and looks delish. AI does look good down by the ball. Very nice looking. Plenty of face, like it doesn't look slender. This isn't a big one. It's just a nice little tap forwards, I reckon. Off the mat. Sit down, because the greens are firm. Sit down. Oh, yes. We're going to go under par to start. So basically the auto putt is giving proximity to the hole. So 1.63 putts that was. Oh, I'm now 0.4 under par. Back to the four iron. 442 yards. I definitely need that on the first. This is going to be tough because this is a very tucked pin on this hole as well. Giving that an absolute wallop. Rip that. That is such a beautiful flight. That's going to fly, yeah, that's flying like 225 through the air on this hole, running up to 245 because the fairways are linksy fast. Loving that, 198 to the pin. So 198 to the pin, but I only really need to carry it about 189, so I'm going to hit my 7 iron. Aim it just up the right. Just need this on the green. So I've pulled it onto the pin. I was trying to aim right at that pin. With a good bounce, this is going to be absolutely perfect. Sit now. Oh, ooh, ooh. look at the slope on this screen though. Oh, stop. That is such a mental pin. So 4.05 to finish, stay 0.4 under par back to the 4-iron. And I do have to say the 4-iron is just delicious for this kind of club. I think some of you might want chunkier. I would, but if you're decent at hitting it, that's going to look so, like I say, functional. All right, let's give this 4-iron some oomph. Hit that pretty hard. I've just slightly turned it, so it's going to tangle, which is a shame. Bounce, because you don't get the run. That was 220 something in the air then. Right, 181 to the pin. I'm going to hit an eight iron hard, because the pin's at the back, and I just need to hit this green. So I'm actually going for more of a middle to front yardage here, hoping for a bit of bounce on. I bet that's so solid. I know that's plenty. Sit down. Sit down. I mean, they're strong, aren't they? That's like, oh, off the slope. Oh, I didn't know that slope was there. Where's that headed? It's going very close, is it? It's actually on the other side of the hole, but that is under par. Just going to hit one more hole quickly because I want to hit the wedge. And this is 475. And that's going to be chopped out of the rubbish. So I just toe pulled that, got away with that. So I'm going to hit a seven iron pump it out forwards. If it comes out, yeah, it does. So we're now going to get to hit a wedge, hopefully, because the wedge is a lovely little shape. So we're 61 yards, I'd use a different wedge for that, but I'm going to use the pitching wedge. It's a lovely little shape, very rounded, quite high up here in the toe, lots of face down by the ball. I do think I'm used to this now because I play this style of club, but I do think you could really start possibly comboing when you get down here if you want your wedge to look a certain way. 61 yards. Because remember, with a strong loft as well, this is almost like a little chippy nine. I mean, you can still do stuff with it. I mean, that's not a bad shot first go, is it? Now, I like the shape. I think the roundedness is pretty. I just think some people will want something that looks starting to slender off a little bit more now. And I do think clubs certainly like these and most of the sets now, giving it some combo is really something that could help you. So we finished at level par 0 0.00, which I think is about fair. Uh, Paradigm irons, yeah, numbers are where I'd expect. Sound is where I would expect. I guess the name is where I'd expect, like trying to do something flashy with the name, but really at the end of the day, there's nothing that paradigm -y in their performance. And I wouldn't use that as a negative. I think that's a good thing because they make good performing irons and they perform like the other ones gone before it. If you're looking for a new set of irons, I think this would be something you'd worth trying. Obviously the price is probably gonna be up there, but that's a different video. Let me know what you wanna go for when it comes to price. But I, I just think if you put this name on a different brands club, people would giggle a bit more. Callaway can pull it off and they pulled off a great iron there. Something I think you should test, but I'm not seeing anything new if you already own a good set of Callaways. 